So why we need upsert is here. Uh, uh, we need when we will do an upsert is the point. Okay. So when we will do an upsert. When the insertion fail, when the insertion fail. Okay. So in that case, we will go for an upset. Means when it will fail. So we know that we have a table called select star from employee. Employee, right? Okay. So what is this employee table? Have the data. Okay. We'll have. Here and say select star from uh, yeah, we got it. So now we have the data. So now where we have the data inside the schema, inside the schema. So now inside this schema, what we have. We have a public table and we have tables here. So we need to prepare a insert scripts. That's why I'll go for insert script and say insert. So how many rows are there already? Again, we'll query here. So what is that we need to query? Before we are writing the data. Employee. Correct. So now this employee data, how much is there is what we are going to see. Yeah. So now what I'll do is my uh, table with primary key is there. First thing we need to check in order to see the demo of absurd. Okay. We need to check create script. Um, okay. We'll see. Oh. It has been a primary, correct? It has been a primary. Right. So, for us, the doubt has been cleared. We will not say not save. So now, what we'll do? We'll do again. Or we'll say three. Three. Oh, sorry, that is the ID only. I mean, values we need to change to three. Three. What is three data? Uh, B. Okay. So we say from so now rather than six hundred, I will go for six thousand. Will this allow me to insert the data? Oh, it inserted, but because it is not a primary key. First, we need to have a primary key. Then what will happen? What is the rule of primary key? Huh? It will be unique and not okay. Now, so now we'll go to properties and we can add like this also. We can say the column name and the PK ID. Okay, constant name. Uh, we can make it as a primary key. Okay, name PKID. Okay, ID is the primary key of the table. Clear? So, what is the point here? So, we could not duplicate. duplicate. Ah, see. We have duplicate data. It is saying you can't create, so we need to go and delete the uh, last number, last one, and come right. So first of all, we'll uh, see this, and we we'll delete the where salary is equal to six thousand. Okay, right? Because that particular row will go away. Delete from employee where salary is equal to. One row delete. So now you can go and say properties, columns, primary key, yes, 
and we'll say save. So now let us try to insert. So will it insert? No. What happens? Ah, so now why it is failing? Why it is failing? No, why is why it is failing? Because ID is a primary key. Because ID is a primary key which will not allow duplicates and which will allow only unique numbers. So that's the reason is failing the data. So now how we will do this absurd? Absurd is what we need to see. Okay. So now we will go and see absurd. Okay. One more thing. Uh, where cannot be used from it? She asked for the What? What? Where are they? 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 Where uh, so now what we what we are going to see we'll say on so we'll say now uh, we'll continue the query on conflict on conflict conflict of what you need to say of what conflict of id id what i'll say do nothing okay don't give me an error I know that conflict of ID will come. If the ID comes, don't give me an error. Just bypass it. Just bypass it. Now error didn't come. Now error didn't come. Correct? Ah, because already it is there. See, what we are doing, we are saying don't do this, do this. Don't give me an error. But what we we can do? We can do an update since how is what? So now we we'll, we we'll saw do nothing. Now again, this is one step. Okay. The next one is so on conflict of ID. Okay, same ID. What we will write? We'll write update. So now how we'll write update statement. How we write update statement? Huh? Tell me how we'll write update statement. Huh? How we'll write update statement? What we need to update? We need to update our uh, salary. Correct? Right. Salary is equal to Okay. What is happening? Huh? Ah, why a syntax error? Why? Why syntax error? Table name is already there in insert. So we just need to say do update. So we said do nothing. Just we need to say. Salary is ambiguous. So now what we need to do? Salary is ambiguous. Salary is So now I'm showing you all the mistakes here. That's, that's the point, OK? Huh? I'm showing you all the mistakes. What, what can be possible? So now how we will do? <laughs> Hmm? Same nahi hai. <laughs> now got updated. So now what we will do? We will go and see the
So one person should be there, no? One person should be there. Will we get the data or not? Right? You need whole data also. So now what I'm saying is if already data is there, what do you want to update? You specify. You want to update my all columns without ID? Yes. I can do on conflict. The row conflict came on which column? ID column. You need to specify. Clear. Ah, unique key also. Unique constraint also. Huh? Excluded, salary. excluded salary means which is coming incoming salary. Which is incoming salary. <laughs> yeah, which is incoming salary. Okay. okay. So clearly you need to understand what we need to do. So this is the one more point we need to understand. So this is called absurd. When we are doing insert, if error comes, we can update. Even we can do with the, now we, we did with column, okay? We can do with the constraint name also. What is the, what they are saying? Any constraints are there? Any constraints are there? Employee PK, correct? So rather than that, constraint, what is that? Employee underscore K. So now what we need to do? We need to do nothing. Right? We'll change Ram to Rama. Okay? Ram to Rama. And we'll ask him to, so rather than doing that, so we can copy this. We can put it as a third one. Right? So what is the third one? Ram to Rama. Okay? And uh, we'll do update. And we'll do update to update of excluded salary to 60,000. Okay. And uh, what we need to do, comma, manager is equal to excluded dot manager. Right. So what happens? We are doing rather than with the ID column, we are doing with a constraint. And straight. Ah, so now, uh, why, why, why the problem came? Any guess? Huh? What parenthesis? What parenthesis? We should specify on. That's what constraint will take a keyword called on. Constraint on. Now, got updated. So now, can we go and see? Now, can we go and see? Oh, it is not there. Why? If we made it at 60,000, no. Sorry, uh, select was not proper. Yes, we made it Rama and 60,000. So now what we have saw, we saw insert as well as, uh, insert as well as update. That is nothing but a upset. So we can do a upsetting, upsetting of data. When conflict comes, how many ways you can use ID? You can use a ID column, which is a primary key or which is unique. That you can take. That you can take. You can uh, you can leave it without that without doing anything, or you can do some update based on the primary key or unique column, or you can update using a constraint. When that clear, using a constraint. So this is very, very important, absurd. <coughs> In case of a skill, interviews and all, it will help you. Okay. That's it for today. We'll meet again tomorrow.